What is up guys and welcome to our first ever video on this channel and it's going to be a FIFA 16 career mode with full ham. Now this video, well this series really is going to be uploaded daily so I would recommend you hitting that subscribe button so you will never miss an episode. Now I'm looking forward to this series, I hope you guys are so let's get into it really. So the board actually obviously is giving us targets, objectives. They want us to reach the round of 32 in the cup, which I do think is quite easily achievable. And also they want us to fight for promotion, which is definitely going to happen as we are aiming for automatic promotion. If we don't get that, then it's going to be playoffs. But we are getting, aiming for that first or second place anyway. But here's the team now. We have got quite a lot of goalkeepers for some strange reason. And another strange thing is our best one's on loan Southampton. So we won't be using him. We'll be using Lonergan. Still a good goalkeeper. As well, we've got uh, quite a few defenders, to be fair. Uh, a lot of centre-backs, anyway. And uh, we'll probably be hoping to probably get rid of some of them and bring in some uh, better and younger ones, really. Uh, the team's looking alright really, it's, there's quite a lot of depth which I'm quite glad with, so if there's any injuries we can always play other people in their positions, but the thing is with the depth is they are in the best ratings, there's a lot of young players which is good, but like I said the depth with the other players they aren't very good ratings, as you look at some of the centre mids they're in the mid 60s which we want high 60s, maybe low 70s. So we're we'll definitely uh, aiming to get some new midfielders in anyway. But here is the uh, transfer list and the players we are going to send out on loan. We've got quite a young, few young players in this squad with Fulham, which I'm quite happy with really. And we're hoping to send some of them out for two years alone and also one year. The one years are actually their contracts will be running out in January. That's why they're before one year and also we're hoping to uh, get rid of Smith, Bodrov and Vosser because I don't see me using them at all as they're quite old but anyway transfer targets even though we have a lot of centre backs we are hoping to bring in more or uh, swap because the quality of centre backs we've only really got a bearer and Ream, which are very good. I mean, Hutchison and Burn, they're not bad, they're quite young, but I'm hoping for better ones. Anyway, centre mids as well. I'm hoping for some uh, good centre mid signings. Same with wingers. I'm looking for two or three new wingers, and obviously, uh, I'm hoping for a backup striker as well to cover McCormack. But anyway, the two youngest, well, not the youngest, but the two players that I think could maybe get the best potential out of is uh, Dembele who is a striker, he's in years old I'm hoping to train him and hopefully get him to uh, mid 70s at the end of the season and also we're going to train uh, a young Welsh winger called Williams uh, he's only 19 as well so I'm hoping he can grow a bit and uh, hopefully they can both maybe hit the mid 70s before the end of the season I think they probably will if we train them right in the right uh, training regimes but hopefully they will get there and as you see Williams actually went up a bit which is really good as well Dembele didn't really go up but they haven't played any games but hopefully they will but anyway we're gonna get into our first game now in the Italian European Cup it's against a French team I'm not even going to try and pronounce the name because as you see on the screen what the hell is that? EA Gunigamp? What the... Who comes up with these names? I mean Fulham sounds weird anyway for an English team and I'll play EA Gunigamp. They've been bought by EA so you know this game might have been a bit bull. But anyway, I decided to show this clip all from kickoff because it kind of builds up to an early girl for us really um, I see we're down the right you know toying with the defenders how you do we cross the ball in they the goalkeeper easily catches it he throws it out but the thing is 
well, kicks it, sorry, my bad. He actually, we win the ball back, Kearney plays it to the left to Dembele, back to Kearney, and that's 1-0. Easy how you do. So, yeah, great bit of play, really. We got a bit lucky, don't get me wrong, but uh, it was a, I thought it was a great goal because um, it was great play. We won the ball back, Kearney 1-2 Dembele, bang, top right corner, great goal. And Kearney is our first goal scorer of the competition, which is really good. And as you see there, running up to the camera, a bit, uh, bit vain, but uh, we'll let him off, the old Hull City and Blackburn player. Great goal. But anyway, they, I've got to say, they did play better than us in this competition, a lot, not competition, this game, a lot better than us. They had so many chances. You'll see at the end of the game when I show you, it was unreal. I mean, the miss one there, somehow, I don't know. And then, even worse, I was giving them. Look, I kicked ball out to him and somehow he missed this. Now, I don't know. Anyway, they have another corner uh, later on in the half. And again, they missed this chance. Now, I don't know what was going on with my defending, but it wasn't very good. I mean, we were just giving them the ball, letting them play... And Lonergan, our goalkeeper, was just keeping us in it. But anyway, that was it for the first half. Now the second half. Um, we, don't get me wrong, until about the 20th minute in the first half, it was all us. And then it was just all them. They had so many chances. I mean, I didn't even want to show you our chances because they were just off target. Kakanitlic on our left wing, he took on about five players and just hit it into row Z. I mean, I was going to want him to show you that, but what was the point? And then again, um, but anyway, this is the final chance of the game. I mean, they applied so much pressure all game with almost triple, quadruple our chances and they just couldn't take any, which was good for us, but it doesn't matter. The referee blows a full-time whistle. We won. Woo. We won. 1-0, One somehow, I don't know how. But anyway, let's get to transfers. Leeds. We inquired about Sam Byram. They wanted 2.5 million for him. We offered 1.3. I thought that was a good deal, really. Uh, I thought that was fair. 1.3 Sam Byram. I mean, obviously in real life, he'd go for a lot more. But anyway, same with Ben Marshall. They wanted 2.1. We offered 1 million, which I thought was quite fair as well. Again, we trained Dembele and Williams. Uh, again, Williams went up a bit. Dembele just stayed the same, which was a bit annoying because I do want him to grow the most. But we did inquire about a new who for QPR, and they said they had no chance in buying him at all. But then we could still go and put a bid in for him. So to be fair, I didn't really get that. But I ended up putting a three million bid in for him, which I thought again was fair. But our first bit of selling players, Nottingham Forest uh, came in for a bid for Vosser. We uh, counted an offer for him and see if he would accept that. But that was really it for transfers. There weren't a lot going on uh, this episode. It was more just introducing it into the team. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please like the video if you have. Subscribe if you're new. I'll be seeing you guys later. Peace.